Hey everyone, so Tara here, and I've got a lot of questions from a lot of you on the kind of tracking system that I'm currently using. I know in the past I've used Evernote and Asana, and I'm always looking for ways to simplify the process, make it super efficient, but yet make it a great way to keep track of all of my information. So I've been testing a new method for a while now, and I've been tweaking it and making it work for me, and so far it's been going really well. I, I hope it's not frustrating that I'm always trying different methods, but I'm always trying to figure out the best, and I'm trying to simplify it as much as possible. Hopefully one day I'll figure it all out, right? Um, but this is the method I'm using now. Got the idea from another coach on YouTube. I will link that video as well so you can see another person's approach to it. But let me show you how I use this system. So I have this is in Google Drive. This is a spreadsheet. Now I'm going to give you in the comments a link to uh, the template that you're welcome to use. Feel free to use for yourself, but I do ask that you copy it. So go to File, click Make a Copy, and then that way it's just yours, just saved for you so you can put your contacts in there. Otherwise, all of us see your contacts, so, so go ahead and do that. So the first tab is Contacts. These are all of my contacts. Don't feel like you need to add everyone at once, okay? Every single day I make a practice of contacting three of my old friends a day and I add them to this sheet. So it's progressively getting larger. Or anytime someone contacts me, if they're not on this list, I add them. Don't feel like you have to add like 500 people all at once, okay? That could be overwhelming. So first up, I have their name in the column. Then their contact method. I only really use this column if it's someone who's liked my Facebook page and I want to copy their URL of their Facebook page so it's the easiest way to get in touch with them. Next up is email address if I happen to get it. And then current status. I created this drop down menu where you can select uh, where they're at. I've pre-defined these fields and in a while I'll show you how you can change them. But uh, there's form, so form is if we're still kind of getting to know each other, um, there's invited to clean eating, there's a, several different options. Basically any step that someone could be at, I put them there that way I know at a glance exactly where this person is. Then the last time I had some kind of personal contact with them, whether it was a message or a call or whatever, I want to know the last time. That's going to help in just a second. I also put how I know them. This is great for me to remember kind of the past, like how we know each other. Sometimes it can be really hard as you're meeting in groups to remember like, oh, was that from a working mom's group or was that from a dog lover's group? It's helpful to have that little note. Then uh, if they ever, if I ever invite them and they say, no, now's not a good time, I say, well, when's a great time? When can I reach out to you? They give me a date, I write it in here. All right, things I should know. I use this column to track really important things that I want to know about them when it comes to talking with them about getting healthy or uh, building a business. So this might be things like a heart condition or maybe they're sensitive to Shakeology, so why keep asking them about Shakeology? Um, maybe it's that they lost their job and, and they're looking for a job. These are things I really would want to know every time I'm interacting with them, okay? Next up is notes. This is just a catalog of all of our conversations. So let's say I wrote this person um, at the first of the year and I checked in on life. life. All right, now let's say today I write them and I want to send them a message, and today I might just, uh, wish happy birthday. I update that. Maybe um, maybe we're a week later and I invited them to uh, invited to clean eating. I just kind of catalog the different process. So maybe it's like says she is ordering blah blah blah. Just kind of cataloging each of the different conversations we have just super brief. Okay, I don't have time to read through a bunch. I just wanted to give myself a little update. Information about gives me important details of the person. How many kids do they have? What's their profession? Um, where do they live? That doesn't mean to sound stalkerish, but like, you know, just kind of like little things about their life so that as you're talking, maybe they have a hobby that you share in common, then you write that there so that as you go to reconnect with that person, you can chat about that hobby and, and have cool conversations about it. Next up is a need. Now let me talk with you about this. As you are forming people, so remember form here is as you're getting to know people, it's the acronym. You're learning about their family, their occupation, their recreation, like their hobbies and their you know physical activities they enjoy doing, all that stuff. The last part of that acronym is message. But before you get to message, make sure you've really gotten to know them with those first steps. And one of the ways that you can check yourself to know if you've really gotten to know them is if you can really tell that what their needs are, their struggles are and their goals. That's one step that to help you as you're talking with them. It's a lot easier to say like, hey, I was thinking about you. I know that you were mentioning that you had, were um, 
you know, you were really looking for a job, you were struggling with the finances, I thought about you because I thought this coaching opportunity might be a good opportunity for you. Uh, I think you'd be a good fit for it because of how much you like to help others. What do you think? Um, not what do you think, that wouldn't be what I'd say. But anyway, you get the gist of what I'm saying. When you know those things, it's easier to send those invites to them and talk with them. And it makes sure that you really have thoroughly gotten to know them, okay? If they had an objection, I write it in here. So um, too expensive, if they say that, we all know that's a common one, then you add that in there and that's just helpful to know for future reference. This is a key field because I kept recommending um, like the same programs to the same people so uh, that they already owned. So if someone has 21 Day Fix, even if they got up before me, I write down all the programs that they have. That way I know like, oh, here's what they've done. Maybe I might know like what happened when they did that, good results, did they struggle, why did they struggle? You know, I just have information on that. If this person's a potential coach, I'm gonna put yes. That's uh, useful for me sometimes, although let me show you, you can always hide this. If you're trying to simplify this, I'll show you another place where I've been keeping it lately. Also, customer or coach. So if they become my customer, I put them here, or my coach, I put them here. My husband has a business center under me, so if they're under his, I put it here. That way, if an order goes through, I can look here and know which business center that it's in. That way I'm not logging in and trying to chase things around. I don't use this field too terribly often, but up there on Home Direct, I put them here. To be honest, I have a Facebook group where I keep all my Home Direct people. Um, that's a whole nother video. But uh, so I don't use this column that often, so you're welcome to delete it if it doesn't work for you. Prizes or gifts sent. This is where I track anything that I've sent to someone. That way I make sure I'm not sending them the same thing. I like to send my coaches books, um, little freebies, and I don't want to send them the same like personal development books. So this way I just track what I've done. Let's say someone won a challenge group and I sent them a little DVD. I track which one so that if they win again, then I send them a different one. So that's my system for how I track my contacts. Let me show you how I go into this every day. So what I do is I go in the top left and just above this one box and to the left of the A box, I click this little empty box. That selects everything, okay? And then you're gonna go over and there's this little funnel button and that's a filter, you're gonna click on it and all of a sudden you're gonna see these little arrows above every column. Gives you an opportunity to sort things, but this is how I sort it. So first of all, let's say I'm going in and I'm wanting to reconnect with people. Okay, so connect with some old friends, chat with them. I click the drop down arrow, and I want to find everyone who's at the what stage? What do you think? Form, right? Because we're still getting to know each other. We're not talking about any beach body groups or anything like that. We're just chatting. I press OK. So these are all the people that are at that stage. This will be most of your list, okay? Then you go into the next column, and I want to sort this from A to Z so that I know that the person at the very top of this list was the last person that, like, the longest conversation back that I've had was with this person, so I should probably get in touch with them again. Does that make sense? So the person at the bottom of the list is the most recent person I've been in touch with, and the person that's at the top of the list is someone who I haven't talked to in a while and I should probably get in touch with. That's how you can know right at a glance, who do I talk to today? Go to your list, boom, last five people. Another tip, I like to see whose birthday it is. I read those people and send them a message as well. It's an easy icebreaker to say, hey, how was your birthday, what happened? Um, so I do those, and then I go in and do this list. So I sort those people, write it, once I sent that person a message, I change the date, boom, that's it. Oh, and I'd also maybe make a note, say like, wish happy birthday, something like that. Next up, then you can change your filter. So click on that little filter button again under that column, click select all so that everything here is checked, and then I'm gonna uncheck things like blanks, I'm gonna uncheck forms, um, the list is usually longer, but this is only showing who I've put the little entries in, but there's about like a dozen options. I might uncheck uh, people who are already in the challenge groups, who I'm already working on one-on-one. -on -one. These are just, I just wanna see the people who I've invited, who are in those stages of whether being invited or thinking about things or whatever, okay? I wanna see those people. So click okay. So here's my list. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort it again. So I'm gonna click on that next column, click on that drop down arrow and sort A to Z. So, as you recall, the person at the very top of the list is a person that I've talked with the farthest back. You know, like I haven't talked to them in a week, whereas the person at the bottom of the list I may have just recently talked to. So, where am I at? Hey, I'm going through, I'm getting ready to do my follow-ups for today. This person requested information on the clean eating group. Okay, so I might see where our conversation is at, and at this stage, I might shoot them a message and say, you know, hey, I know you were asking about the clean eating group. I sent you some details on it. Now that you had a chance to look at it, can I help answer any other questions? 
So that's the message I sent today. And uh, in my notes section, I might update that and put followed, followed up on clean eating. Oh my gosh. And I'm a former English teacher, so ignore that poor spelling. <laughs> I go to my drop down menu and I change the option. See, here are all those options. I change it to follow up on clean eating. That way, next time I go into my group, I know where that, that, that person's now at the follow up stage. Okay, now this next person invited to coaching. What's the next step? Let's go down. I know I've invited them, but I want to know, um, maybe follow up with them on that. Write the date, change my note. Um, what I do, instead of deleting the note, I just click right next to it. I'm, I know I'm updating the, the note from the contact before, but I just wanted to show you. I'll click next to it and write the latest date and said, like, followed up on coaching. That way I have a catalog of all the conversations, right? So keep going, invited to clean eating. I mark that I had a follow-up on clean eating, write the date, and so on. So that way I know immediately in order who I should contact. But let's say you're getting near the end of the month. People you probably want to prioritize, you might want to go in there and not really look at the clean eating people, but you might want to filter that list based on who's interested in the challenge pack or who's interested in coaching and get into those people and really focus on them and talk with them. Okay, so that's kind of how I do this aspect of my page. Let me show you the others though. Once I find out that someone maybe has a coach already, I will select the row and I will cut the row. So you can go to edit and select cut up at the top here, or you can, I'm on a Mac, so I use a little, what is it, like a command button, command and X, but I cut it. I go to this page, this little tab at the bottom that has a coach and I might paste their name there. That way, if someone responds to like a Facebook, like pay, like clean eating invitation or challenge group invitation and say, I want to join, and I go in, I see they're on this list, I might just shoot them a message and say, hey, just give you a heads up. I know you mentioned you had a coach before. I don't like to step on the toes of other coaches, so you might want to check in with your coach and see what resources we have. We don't steal other people's customers. So that's how I do that. <laughs> Next up is friend requests. I can't tell you how many times I sent a friend request to someone who I met in a group, and I couldn't quite remember. I got their accept like a long time later and couldn't remember where I met them from. And it makes it a lot harder to restart a conversation. So write their name and how I know them. Okay. Next up, challengers. So what I do is I write their name, the date they started. This isn't too terribly relevant. You can always delete this if you want, but sometimes I have recurring challengers and I write when they first started with us. The goal they have, the why they have, the group that um, they're in. Sometimes this isn't totally necessary for just doing one a month. Uh, the program that they're doing for the for the challenge, the Shakeology HD date in case you want to remind them that their order is going auto ship. Um, then you write in their weight and their arms. You write in all their beginning measurements. They send those to you. Then they can send you their after measurements, right? Their left arm and so on. You fill in all of their measurements. How I have this set up is this red section here, it automatically calculates how much they've lost. That's pretty cool. That way, you have a little tally here that tells you the total number of inches and the total weight lost for the group, okay? When a new group starts, I put their names right in here in the column below. So this is the next month. Um, what you can, then what you can do is you can like copy, and what I recommend is but when you first get this form, copy and paste these columns a couple times so that you have the formulas. Oh, wait, not this column, sorry, the red one. Take this where all the zeros are. Make sure you delete those over here. Don't ever delete things in the red columns because that deletes the actual formula. We're gonna go back here, delete the hip measurements, all that stuff, and so on. So you, know, you get the gist, you go back, you just delete those real fast, okay? Now, copy this, paste it before you start a new group. So maybe each month, as I'm getting ready to set up my February group and I write in all those names, before I mark in the dates, I might just type in March and copy and paste this. That way, when I go to paste it next time, I'm not having to delete any of these numbers. That may have confused you, I'm sorry. But anyway, just <laughs> copy and paste these numbers below so you can keep track of people, okay? And this gives you the total inches weight loss. There's a formula in here that I've already put in so you can copy this and you could just paste this and it's going to automatically change the formula to be for these fields. But you can always check by looking at the cell numbers, making sure the cell numbers correspond with your rows and columns. If you don't understand that, then I would check up like basic tutorials on YouTube on how to work Excel, okay? 
So hopefully that didn't confuse you. I feel like I just like took you on a wild ride. But basically, I use this page to track people's weights. It's very helpful for me to be able to track those successes and really see how people are doing and help hold them to those goals, right? Clean eating group, same process, okay? Potential coaches. So these are people, I'm still tracking them in the contacts list because sometimes I want to track their invites to challenge groups and there's a lot of other things I'm tracking with them. But if I really feel like one day they'd make a great coach, they go in here and I'll write their name over here, their email, their profession. If you don't know their profession, you don't know them well enough to invite them to coaching. Right? Once you find your profession, write it, the date they're last invited, and then just notes that, that might be important for you to know about this. So it might be they're not ready right now, or um, you have some kind of objection they have, or just something important to know. Maybe, uh, uh, yeah, and then maybe like need to know. Sometimes I kind of, I'm almost at the point where I'm going to merge these together, just so you know, because they're kind of the same thing. But if their husband's deployed, or something where maybe the military discount might be important for them down the road. Types of ins by invite sent each time I have an invite. I treat this just like the notes box on the other page. If I send out a new invite, let's say in March, I send a video. I add that new one. The reason why I say the types of invites is because let's say last month I invited them to a coaching event and they didn't attend. Next time I might try a different approach because maybe that approach didn't really work for them. So I try something new. Then if they said no, I'll ask like, hey, when's a good time to follow up with you or whatever? I get a date from them. I pop it in this column. So this is a great way at a glance to where I can see people and hey, if I'm at a point where I'm really wanting to build my team and kind of do a push, I can go back through this list and da -da 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 -da, write those people and connect with them based on what their needs are and how I think that coaching might be helpful for them. The last thing that I track is Instagram and I just started doing this to be totally honest with you. And I might track their username, their name if I know it, the date that I last maybe interacted with them, like commented on a photo or something, and little information about them, like vegan, they're into fitness, they have kids, and something that we may have interacted over. And I just continue to add five people a day, and I will, you know, comment on some posts, ask some questions, and then as we, you know, chat more, and I feel like we're at a place where we're, you know, getting to know each other, then I might say, like, hey, are you on Facebook, and move them over. I'm still working on this, okay, but I just want to show you one method to do it. Um, that I just track them in here. And in this column, I look at who I, you know, have talked with farther than four days ago, like four days back, and I make sure I just get in touch, you know, interact again with them, like talk again on their Instagram page. Still tweaking this, but that's one method to do it. You're gonna find that you're gonna tweak this in ways that work for you, and that's okay, that's awesome. And actually, if you find some ways to improve this, I wanna hear about it, so please come back and comment. But let me show you really fast how you can edit this, um, the, these drop-down menus, because you know there's one that says Andy's customer, and you probably don't have Andy's customer. You might change it to your significant other. So what you do is go to the most empty box. This is how I like to do it. And you're gonna select that cell and go to data, up in the top up here. Data, validation. As you can see here, these are all the different fields that I wrote in, as in fields, I mean like options for me to select, and you can delete some, you can add in some, just use the comma to designate that you've added a new one in. You can put it in any order that you want by changing where you insert what you're writing. Once you're done, you click save, and you've added that item, and then take, there's a little tiny blue box in the bottom right of that cell, that box, you click, hold your mouse down, and you drag down and it's gonna apply that field to everything else, okay? Little tip, because I'm always tweaking this system and tweaking fields and you might find that you do the same, I only do it for these because I don't wanna have to edit all of these. So I always know that the most recent like tracking device I have is this cell, so I might copy it and if I'm changing this field, if this is the one that I wanted to add something to, I might do it like this. But I always know that the most recent version as I've tweaked things is that very last open column. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so if you have any questions, so feel free to let me know. Um, I would be happy to, to answer them. And I might update the system. Who knows, this is just what really works well for me now. I'm able to track a lot of contacts and quickly filter at a glance and see where certain people are at. It's so useful for me to know how to quickly get things going and track everything and see it all at one glance. I hope that helps. All right, take care, everyone.